So here we are at station 14, the hairs. So we have two hairs. This one was found, it's in a microscope slide, you can see it there. So it's found on the pants leg of a suspect, uh, suspect B actually, who is supposedly a, an accomplice of another suspect, suspect A. This hair, see it at a certain angle there. Um, this hair was found on the back car seat of suspect A's car. So in other words, um, was suspect B in suspect A's car? Is there a connection between these two people in terms of where they were? So we're going to need the microscope for this one. So it's a different kind of microscope. Last time I used a dissecting scope. This is a regular compound microscope. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit about using this because you need to know how to use one. So um, first of all, when you first start using one of these things, you want to set it to the shortest, smallest lens, which is usually labeled in red. I'm going to turn that so we're on the lowest power lens. You want to take your um, slide, make sure the hair is facing up, it's been taped to the slide, and you want to clip it down, and then you need to use your focusing knobs. Now this kind of microscope, unlike the last one, has two focusing knobs. Oh, by the way, we also want to turn on the light. There's different ways it works, but I'm going to use this switch, turn on the light. We need light shining up through the hair in order to be able to see it. And then two focusing knobs. Here's the idea. The big one is called coarse focus. That makes big changes in focus. Notice the stage moving up and down. And this is the fine focus that will make the last few little adjustments that you may need. And I don't know how well this will work through the microscope. Oh, look at that. Um, almost got it. You can see the hair in there, but I, I lose it pretty quickly, so um, I will get it centered a little bit better here and see if you guys can see that, but I will include photographs because that's just going to work.